In a new study, scientists have uncovered a monster, a DNA giant that has been stitched together in a deliberate way by a few rare cancers. These cancers manipulate a normal process in an ingenious way, using the monster to create exactly what they need to grow and survive. But to understand the abnormal, we must first understand the normal. The nucleus of every cell in our body contains roughly 3 meters of DNA. To make it fit, the DNA is tightly compacted, then squeezed into tubular structures called chromosomes, 46 in total. Each chromosome is capped by protective stretches of DNA called telomeres, like the plastic ends of shoelaces. Telomeres prevent chromosomes from fraying, forming circles, or sticking to other chromosomes. There is also a compressed section called a centromere. Just before our cells divide, chromosomes form exact copies of themselves, then join at the centromere. The centromere keeps chromosomes aligned and helps ensure that the cells divide smoothly and creates two identical daughter cells. When any part of this cycle goes wrong, cancers can develop. The new study described a new type of mutation, a chromosome scale mutation, responsible for creating a chromosome many times larger than the normal chromosomes. And just as there was nothing accidental about the creation of the creature by Victor Frankenstein, there is nothing accidental about the creation of this DNA monster by the cancer cell. Neochromosomes, as they're called, exist in around 3% of cancers. They are mainly found in sarcomas, a cancer that can affect fat, bone, cartilage, and muscle. They are very common in certain cancers, including some liposarcomas, a cancer of fat. So how do they arise? They all appear to start with a catastrophic event known as chromothripsis, which literally means shattering of a chromosome. In the case of liposarcomas, the long arm of chromosome 12 shatters. When a chromosome shatters, the resulting DNA fragments are free to form an independent circular structure with dozens of breakpoints completely rearranged and sometimes inverted. It is at this point that the stage is set for circular breakage fusion bridge, the process that drives the growth of neochromosomes. Like normal chromosomes, circular chromosomes copy themselves before cells divide. Sometimes the copying goes smoothly and at cell division two identical circles migrate into daughter cells. At other times, what is known as a crossover event occurs. This is when each of the identical circular chromosomes breaks in a single place and they form a double ring. At cell division, this double ring is torn apart unevenly, causing unequal rings to migrate to daughter cells. As a result, the larger ring acquires additional copies of genes, including powerful cancer-promoting genes such as MDM2. At the same time, the smaller ring loses those genes. When this breakage fusion bridge cycle repeats hundreds or thousands of times, circular DNAs can grow to become giant chromosomes. A huge amount of DNA is gathered along the way, including fragments from a variety of chromosomes across the genome. And far from being random, this study showed that the amplification of certain genes was selective. Genes known to be important for cancer development were massively amplified, going from a single copy in the original chromosome 
to between 60 and 100 copies in the final Neo chromosome. When these genes are blocked in the laboratory, cancer cells die. So it would appear that cancer cells create a monster that assures their own survival. At some point in the process, the circular chromosome stops growing, captures two telomeres from other chromosomes, and once more becomes a linear chromosome. This is the giant that we can perceive through the microscope in fully formed tumors. But the story doesn't end now, because at some stage we will get to know the monster better, understand its weak points, and either stop it from forming at a very early stage, or else knock it down, and at the same time, kill its creator, the cancer that forms it.